So this question looks like a translate word problem question, right? So translate word problem questions are typically more than four lines long. So all we want to do is make sure we're reading it, but make sure we understand what we read before we just read all the way through it, right? So uh, as a practice, I stop at least in between each sentence just to take inventory of what I just read and make sure that I understood what I just read before moving on. So the first sentence here says, a retail company has 50 large stores located in different areas throughout a state. Okay, so 50, right, so that's the quantitative info, 50 large stores. A researcher for the company believes that employee job satisfaction varies greatly from store to store. Okay, got that. The next sentence says, which of the following sampling methods is most appropriate to estimate the proportion of all employees of the company who are satisfied with their job. All right, so not a lot of quantitative information to pull out of that. It really just is a situation that we've been presented with. The company has 50 stores, and we want to see, well, how do we, how do we, how do we figure out um, the proportion of, of employees that are satisfied with their job? So we have to go through every answer choice here, and there will be some, I assume, that are obviously wrong, but there might be a couple that seem like they could be good and we have to figure out which one is the best one. So choice A says selecting one of the 50 stores at random and then surveying each employee at that store. So I think that would be a great method for figuring out um, how the employees feel at that particular store, obviously, um, because you're talking to each of the employees, but not really for all 50 stores, right? So A, I think is lacking. I don't think the information that came out of that comes out of that survey will be reflective of all 50 of the stores. Choice B says selecting 10 employees from each store at random and then surveying each employee selected. So obviously that's better than choice A because at least you're sampling employees from all 50 stores. Um, but we're only getting 10 of them. I'm not sure if that's if that's enough. But B, I'm not going to cross out. That's a decent that's a decent process to use. Choice C, surveying the 25 highest paid employees and the 25 lowest paid employees. Okay, so, you know, it does sound like from that option, we are looking at all 50 stores, but I would imagine that the 25 highest paid employees are probably a little bit different than the 25 lowest paid employees. And then how many, how many employees are in the middle there? We don't really know how many employees work at each store. So I'm going to still say that selecting 10 employees at random, which means you might get some from the top from the middle and from the bottom in terms of pay is better than like pre-selecting uh, the groups that you're going to choose to to ask questions. So C, uh, I do not think is better than B. And then choice D, creating a website on which employees can express their opinions and then using the first 50 responses. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a huge, uh, so I, I dislike this method completely because again, whenever this happens, um, in case you're not aware, Usually the people who are going to actually express their opinions are the people who are not happy, right? Especially the first 50 responses, right? And then to say you're only getting 50 responses out of 50 large stores is also a very small sample size. So in this, in this case, B is the best answer because you're getting information from each store. It is only 10 employees, but again, we don't know how many employees there are in total at each store. There could be only 20 or 30 or 40, in which case you're getting a, a decent percentage of those employees. It's random, right? So that's important. So you're not, you're not you know, cherry picking which type of employees that you're asking questions to. And then just out of the, the four options that are here, choice B is the best option that we would have.